And we are following breaking news uh, from Milwaukee's north side where two people are dead following a shooting at, uh, at 27th and Belief. The circumstances surrounding the shooting are still unclear. Our Michelle Fiore is live there at 27th and Valide, and we will have an update on this shooting coming up on Live at 5 or possibly sooner. We're also waiting for a news conference. We're going to hopefully hear from Police Chief Edward Flynn. So when that happens, we'll let you know about it. But for now, we're going to talk about Ask the Expert. Every March, we celebrate National Nutrition Month. We focus attention on our diet and strive to make healthy decisions when choosing what to eat. So who better to ask than registered dietitian Lori Meyer. She joins us now live on what happens to be National Registered Dietitian Day. Happy that? day to you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Today is your day. We didn't know we we're going to have a quiz today, but apparently that's what that's, we're going to be up to. That's what's on the right. agenda. The biggest diet mistakes Americans make? You know, we eat too many processed foods. We mm -hmm. don't cook enough, and therefore we're eating a lot of packaged convenience foods, and we're missing a lot of nutrients. So I thought it would be good to do a quiz to kind of find out where some of those foods are that we're most lacking. Okay. So I have different categories. The first category I have are vitamin C rich foods. All I right. have red pepper, a cup of strawberries, and an orange. Which one do you think has the most vitamin C? I'll go with strawberries because I really like strawberries. And I will vote for the orange. And you both are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and the orange, everybody thinks of orange. It's a great, these are all, by the way, great vitamin C sources. Uh -huh. But the orange, everybody thinks of that as the best source. Red peppers, bell peppers, and even yellow pepper has even more vitamin C than the red. Okay, are we talking thin margins here? We're or? talking big margins. Okay. We're talking double the amount. Really? Right. All right, so I got to start eating more red peppers. So, if, you know, add them in. Them in with still my eat the strawberries, strawberries, eat blueberries, all ras yeah. raspberries, all of them are good. But mm -hmm. if you really want a lot of vitamin C, go for the, the bell peppers and even hot peppers. Okay. All right. So next, ca two. next category, we have vitamin A. And many people, we're finding at least 44% of the population deficient in vitamin A. Mm -hmm. I have uh, an ounce of liver sausage, a small sweet potato, and a cup of cantaloupe. Well, I'm going to go with the sweet potato because that's about the only thing I'll eat there. Uh, I would have also guessed the sweet potato. Well, the sweet potato is a great choice, but that's number two. Okay. The first is the liver. <laughs> Uh, and what we're talking about here are retinol equivalents, really good for skin and for mucous membranes, good for mm. intestinal health, viral infections, uh, liver about 2,700, sweet potato about 1,400. So are these the so. sample sizes but, that you're and talking about? And these, uh, these are the sample sizes, right? And that's so interesting because right. so rarely, uh, it seems, would a meat product be have more of a nutrient than a vegetable. Except when it comes to fat soluble vitamins like, like the vitamin A. Okay. Let's okay. see if we can get one of these we'll right, see. Tom. I think you're going to get this one, All right. maybe. <laughs> Potassium. We know potassium is really important, really good for good heart rhythm, mm -hmm. blood pressure. I have a banana, a half of an avocado, or a baked sweet potato with the skin. We love eating all three, doing a lot of training for triathlons. I always hear about bananas. I eat a lot of bananas, so I'm hoping the banana. And I will go with the sweet potato because it uh, looks the, the most the appetizing. The baked, That's potato. A baked, the baked yeah. potato. And you are correct. <laughs> okay. Baked potato, especially if you eat the skin, you get about 800 milligrams oh, of I like potassium. Eating the skin. A lot of people don't like <laughs> and, the skin. And you get about yeah. half that amount in a half of, a, of an avocado or the banana. <laughs> One so for time. So you want to make sure you eat the potato. Okay. What, are we close uh, on that, though? With the you're, you're, It's half half the amount half the amount Darn. okay next we have magnesium uh -huh. magnesium also really important for healthy immune system healthy um, blood pressure healthy heart yep. I have a cup of quinoa an ounce of pumpkin seeds or a cup of spinach all right Popeye had to be right I'm going with the spinach uh, I'm gonna pick quinoa we've been using that actually a lot uh, in our kitchen at home all three of these are really really good sources but you are right the spinach is yes. number one followed by the pumpkin seeds quinoa although quinoa the highest um, magnesium grain, so very good. And then last but not oh. least, I have folate. We know that folate is really, really breaker. important for de uh, defeating birth defects. I have a cup of spinach, a cup of broccoli, a cup of lentil soup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tom, I'll let you go first this time. Uh, for the first time, I, uh, I will choose the lentils. Okay. All right, this is for the tiebreaker. I hate lentil soup. Uh, so you have I'm, to pick something I different. Know, right, so I'm going to go with broccoli. Well, the broccoli is the lowest. Ah. The lentil soup is the, is the highest. Lentils and green vegetables, leafy greens. So lentil first, then the spinach, and then the broccoli. However, all of those are really good sources of folate. And so, and all of these actually were really good sources in, in their categories. Some were right. just higher than so others. So the thing is, if you're eating these things, th this, these are all good choices these are in the really first place. good choices. Right. And these are things that we want to try to incorporate into the diet on a regular basis so that you're right. not going to be one of those Americans that's deficient because we're finding 10% of us eat the, the proper amount of fruits and vegetables that we need. So Tom wins two to one. He gets the lentil soup. And we all <laughs> win because we all learned something today, <laughs> That's right? true, yeah. All right, Lori, great to see you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Well, do you have a question for our expert? You can email asktheexperts at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voice.